So the exam question is whether you could do an outsourcing event, an outsourcing event, client side or vendor side, uh, and the promise of this, sorry, the promise of this um, service excellence, underpinning flexibility and ability to change, which enables innovation and ultimately supports uh, true business continuity. So before you reach for the towel, and you've actually got an outsourcer going to see you do, actually this is amazing, uh, rather than do it to later. Before you reach for the towel, to kill off the partner, uh, let's look back at how you could assess the opportunity before the, the transaction and um, avoid that uh, the rotten egg. So a very uh, common sense uh, check before you outsource is the process integral to the core value proposition of your business. Is the simple basic common sense question. Uh, but we'll kind of leave that and go, well, uh, I can sort of check it after the event. So uh, highly unlikely, but uh, if you find yourself in that sort of end position, you're probably about 20 to the second person. I have seen it happen. Interestingly, if you speak to a couple of uh, RPA providers and you're working with one of the huge RPA providers, you've been thinking of the outsourcing of payroll. Spencer's big UK retailer, uh, uh, a key part of their scheme works for payroll processing. However, they use us as a key component of their overall internal shared service strategy. So lastly, uh, absolutely an outsource, uh, an outsource opportunity. Again, in our world, the payroll is a classic example, uh, which continues to grow. It's an obvious place where perhaps uh, outsourcing can work. So what do you do if uh, So it should be working, uh, uh, the process is clearly not close to you, uh, someone else has it before, the outsource should be working. Uh, what, are some of the, some, what are some of the scenarios I came across in, uh, in my time in both sides of the fence? Well, uh, the quality of service level has been poor, or the work in effects kicks in, uh, and you just don't get the most benefit you can use. Well, actually, it could actually be that the partner is delivering to the SLA. It could be that... Uh, SLAs are not reflecting the client's needs. And what I find in my career is that outsourcing relationships are, are fake, it's a bit fake, and the 
So, uh, we're not there yet, your answers aren't there, let's keep talking. There's Nurse Ratchet and, uh, and uh, three other uh, questions she asked. Is the partner constrained by their behaviours? Uh, we heard in one of the group questions where Microsoft uh, uh, Google uh, was collecting fantastic stories. They were using Accenture as their overall partner, the main partners and their partners. It could be there's a weak link. And, uh, So, when it all com comes together, there's McMurphy, uh, the start of the day, he's a happy chap, he's full of enthusiasm, everything's working, uh, service excellence, uh, can underpin uh, change delivery, uh, can enable uh, engineering, and actually, uh, uh, you can deliver true uh, uh, business through engineering uh, from a partnership. Uh, so, I think that, uh, that brings me to my last line. It was going to be Johnny done a great job, didn't he, talking about uh, uh, talk, uh, talking about uh, uh, why McDonald's uh, won. It really was about the why, okay? And I wonder if it, if it's if the American public perceive something around control versus communication, perhaps where the flaw is the picture of uh, uh, poor Hillary came in second. Uh, came in second. Uh, poor Hillary. So really, the key takeaway from the session is uh, if you're in a 